Hello there everyone, how are you doing? My name is Hasham, welcome again. Okay, this is not a big video, it's just a very quick explanation that I've had a direct share issue with my phone. Um, now, I searched everywhere on the web, I couldn't find a proper solution for it, but it's uh, the solution for it is like so stupid, that I feel stupid that I didn't find it, but there was a lot of input from a lot of people that nobody found it. I mean, okay, so... First of all, uh, what is the problem? The problem is, let me just move it here. Uh, I go to my Google Photos and I click one image here, there it is. And I just click on this and I click direct share. Uh, here it is, click WhatsApp. And I get, okay, so this one I get immediately like, you can see here I got two icons here, I just fixed it. Um, okay, then, so it's really weird that some some pictures, where you when you do it, it immediately comes up with direct share not available. They go direct share not available. They go just it just came up now. Now this is where the problem is. It's like uh, you get these uh, issues show up and uh, you go all over the web. Uh, I, I actually did. I go. I went all over the web to try to find them. There was nothing in there. Uh, I'm gonna minimize. I'm gonna show you that uh, the struggle I were was I mean I typed here direct, direct share and by the way I'm using one plus seven T so just in case uh, this is different I went to the settings I went to everything it's uh, it's also different things it's like also, and by the way I'm using parallel apps which is mean that dual apps I'm using two whatsapps in one phone here it is two whatsapps in one phone uh, if somebody will need my help on that, I will I will write an article for it, or I can actually just uh, uh, do another video for you guys. But there you go. So you can see that I'm using one one WhatsApp in one phone, and I'm using uh, I searched everywhere. I searched all these articles in here. They were just basically useless. Um, there was nothing in Google written anywhere. I searched YouTube, and there was some guy that says you install a program called Customizer, and I'm thinking, God, man, it's like really giving me a headache so um, the solution is really stupid uh, so well, first of all I had to go download whatsapp the latest version from the whatsapp website this is the whatsapp website there you go whatsapp.com forward slash android you can see that this is the latest uh, this, is, this is the official website I'm not uh, trying to go to a different website and you can see the version in here 2.2.48 okay so that's the first step uh, if I go to what's up in here there we go what's up in the Google Play Store here it is and I try to find this version number in here you will find that this is weird that this version is not the latest version that's on the on their website where is the version numbers here not sure if I can find a version number here now <laughs> Oh, there it is. It's the 2.2, uh, 2.20.27. But if you go to the WhatsApp WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp website, whatsapp.com forward slash Android, you will find 2.2048. So obviously that they've got a newer version on their website all the time. That's not on the Google Play Store. That's one. Okay, so once you go in there, don't worry, it will not overwrite your application. It will just install on top of your version. So that's that's beautiful. So that's really cool. But I think the trouble is with this is that you might lose Google Play Store uh, auto updates. So you might have to do manual updates all the time. Once you do that, which, which I have done, I'm going to show you. Uh, here we go. App info. Uh, and I'm going to check here. Advance. Not sure if my recording has stopped. There you go. 2.2.48. So I'm not sure if my recording stopped uh, when I showed you this, but 2.248 is the version that I have. Okay, now that they've done that, I'm going to go back to Google Photo. And uh, I'm going to pick another image. I'm going to just pick this weird looking image here, which was giving me a lot of headache. Oops, sorry, not this one. Here. Uh, I'm going to click WhatsApp. And watch this. It's going to give me direct share not available. Now what you do is, with your finger... Click it to move up. <gasps> wow. And I've got the WhatsApp and the parallel WhatsApp. I can just click there now. Done. That's how simple it is. If uh, if it works for you guys, this is how simple it is. It's not it's really stupid and fixed, but 
I've been searching for hours. In fact, no, not hours. I've been searching for months for this fix. And uh, I went on websites, left, right, and center. Nobody has got a simple solution to say, do this, this, this. Nobody. So I, I, I literally, you know, thought, let me just do a video for you guys. I don't, I don't think this is my general videos for my YouTube channel, but it works for me. And I thought, you know what? Let me just give it to you guys. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys, this works. I hope this works. I will keep on doing uh, fixes as they come along. Uh, my next fix, of course, is the latest program for uh, uh, IPTV for Samsung's, which uh, Samsung really hate me. And I've done uh, the one for Smart IPTV for Samsung. I've also done the SS IPTV for Samsung. Uh, Samsung uh, have sent me threatening letters to say uh, I should stop doing that, uh, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't care. I bought a TV. I want to fix it, and I'm gonna do another video application for you guys. The only application that I've got uh, really bad rejection from was IPTV Smartest Pro. They do not like me doing videos for their application, but you know, whatever. That's how the things go. That's how the cookie crumbles. See you guys later. Bye-bye, guys. This is Hasham signing out. Until the next video.